And how was your dinner, Nick? What did you have tonight? Ah, bugs! Bowron Lakes is going to be an eight day trip. Uh, I've actually written it on my whiteboard here. I need breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day except for the eighth day. I only need breakfast and lunch. And that's because when we get off the lakes, we're going to stop for cheeseburgers. We have purchased the Costco bulk mountain house box for the whole group of us. Um, there's there's six of us going, five of us shared in the bulk box, one is going to make his own food. Ryan's going to make all his own food because he likes to do that and has the time, I guess. Um, we're less than a month away and I'm just starting to get this organized now. Last time I did it, I was organized two months in advance. Uh, anyways, so I've got granola with milk and blueberries for one breakfast. I've got a pasta primavera, scrambled eggs with ham, and red and green peppers, a chicken teriyaki, another granola, chili mac with beef. Then, because I don't like too many of these uh, pre made meals, well, not, not this isn't still pre made. Uh, I've got an oatmeal, instant oatmeal, coffee, Pop-Tart for a breakfast. I've got Mesquite Barbecue Chicken by Alpine Air. Uh, that's one that I bought instead of in to top up the Mountain House meals just to just to change it up because with the bulk pack you don't get a lot of choices. Um, vegetable stew with beef, breakfast skillet. That's one of my favorites. If you see my Alouette Lake video, the first one we did uh, last year. Um, doesn't look that appetizing, but it's really good. I recommend that one. So that's a sampling. And uh, then I've put together daily snack packs to munch uh, as we're canoeing. I've got a candy bar, pop tart. I bring a pop tart for every day. Usually that's actually my dessert after dinner. Uh, candy bar, granola bar. Um, I'm going to add to that some Cliff bars, uh, sesame snacks. I've got dried fruit. I like to add that. So those will just be my daily snacks. Uh, if we do a cooked lunch, I think I'm going to do a fi uh, film on this one. These Kraft Dinner microwave packs, two serving microwave packs, they cook really well on the trail. Um, just boil the water, drop the noodles in, let it sit for uh, about 20 minutes, add the cheese sauce, and there's no straining, no mucking about. Uh, they work really well, so that's a good lunch. Um, these nor side dish things uh, work really well as well. Uh, just boil them up, let them sit in the pot for double what it says. So this says it cooks in eight minutes, so you let it sit for 16 minutes in the pot. Um, doesn't work if you cook it in a plastic bag. I've tried Ziploc cooking them; they come out mushy, but they come out fine if you leave them in the pot. Just so you have dishes to do. Uh, another great lunch uh, when we stop for a shore lunch. Some days we'll stop, some days we'll just have snacks, beef jerky, pepperoni sticks, things like that. I haven't bought any of that yet because I am a month away. That's a sampling of what I'm going to take, what it takes to do Bowron Lakes. Um, I said this is five days worth. I have the other three days uh, worth of food and assorted snacks in this bucket. So what I'm going to do is vacuum seal some of these see what I can fit and check back in with you when I've got that done I'm all done vacuum sealing I've now got all eight days of food laid out so the only thing I have to add as I mentioned earlier is some pepperoni sticks and beef jerky and also I need to get some more dried fruit um, I've just got this little bag uh, got coffee, sugar, tea for breakfast. I'm going to double check make sure I have uh, eight days worth. I don't want to be 
short on the caffeine out there. Mm. So these are a few things I have to check. Uh, I'm going to bring an extra thing of cup of soup in case we get a cold rainy day. I might even buy a few more of those. This is my baking bag so when we get into camp early enough that I can have a little fire and do some baking over the fire I've got biscuit mix, I've got a muffin mix, and I've got a bannock mix uh, in there and this is coconut oil which stays solid um, to fairly high temperature I think around 30 degrees it starts to turn liquid but um, so it, it doesn't leak. It is in a Ziploc bag and a plastic container, but it doesn't leak. It has a very high burn point, so it's really good for, for frying bannock and stuff like that. And it gives a nice coconut flavor. So I've got that. And then I've taken each day <coughs> and put it into a Ziploc bag. Uh, so I've got my breakfast, my dinner, my snacks, uh, all in there. Uh, most of these have a lunch in them. And I've got, I think this one has, uh, maybe this one doesn't have a lunch. This one does. I've got in here a macaroni and cheese. So I've got two days I'll have macaroni and cheese. One day I'm going to have a uh, Lipton side dish or a, uh, a Noor side dish there. Um, and the ones that don't have enough lunch, I'm going to add some pepperoni sticks, beef jerky at the last minute so anyways now all of this will fit into the bucket and all I have to do when I'm out on the lakes is randomly grab a day bag of food in the morning That's what I get for that day. So, okay, I might have to, I might have to turn this off and use two hands to get this in because it does all fit. I had it in there before, so I'll turn this off, reload it, and show you how it all fits. Okay, I'm back. It almost all fits. I can get the lid on. The only thing that didn't fit was my baking and my fruit. So I think I'm going to have to either vacuum pack some of the breakfast that I didn't vacuum pack or uh, just for the first couple of days I may have to carry a small food bag in my backpack uh, just for the first two days food and that'll free up lots of space in there so uh, that's probably what I'll do until next time thanks for watching